Yes, it is. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna just sit up tall here for a moment and make sure you've got a nice even surface underneath your sitting bone. And then take a moment to do what will make you feel comfortable. I'm crossed at my shins. Got my right leg on top of the left. Oh, I did, I needed to yawn. Mm, that felt good. All right, so from here, go ahead, just see where you're sitting, how you're sitting. Let's take one hand to the top of the head. I'm putting my right hand there. I'm gonna grow my spine just a little bit into my hand and then take my other hand here to my low back. I feel just a little gentle stretch in my shoulder as I move my lumbar spine in and then good. let's go ahead and reverse that. So just feel the other hand moving onto the back, top of the head lifting. And then from here, we're gonna take two hands to your two knees. Well, inhale, stretch, move your sternum, stretch it forward, and then exhale, float all of that back. So feel now the head moving forward, the, the lumbar really moving that part of the back in, and then exhale and floating it back. So we're gonna inhale, come reach up, and exhale, float back. This time, come reach forward, let the fingertips walk up, and then take that little cat cow, but maybe it's moving up the spine a little bit. So as we move the sternum forward, you feel the thoracic spine move in, and then letting the thoracic spine move back, and the head can get nice and heavy. Let the neck stretch and release. Let's try that again, a big lift up, inhale, and then exhale, floating that back one more time. And inhale, come up. And then from here, I was just wondering if she was going to make it. Let's go ahead and now take your two arms up and then pull one elbow down into your side. Inhale. And then exhale at that other side. Stretch. So you create a long reach and a little energetic opposition there between your two arms. One elbow extending, lifting, pulling up. And then the other arm floats down. Good. So let's try this one more time here. Just side to side. I got it. And then we'll uh, pull that arm underneath you. So I'm going to take my right hand to my left knee and then my left hand behind my head. So I've got myself sort of hinged here from my two legs. Good. And then exhale, let the head float down. So then we're going to inhale, sweep, take your two arms up, opposite hand to knee, and then a hand behind the head. So you can kind of hinge and stretch here. So you get an opening in your chest to stretch in your latissimus. Good. Let's inhale, take your two arms up now. I'm going to rest my hands on my head. Good. And then almost just like a little corkscrew. So you can feel your sits bones anchoring into the floor. And then we'll circle it, take it around the other way. Good. And then let's move the rib cage oh, side to side. Good. And then we're going to sweep, take your ribs to the right side. And then from here, just let the left leg come up. And then you can try a few little bicycling movements with that leg. Stretching, reaching away. And then out. Good. Try it the other way. Good. And then folding that leg behind you, let the sternum come up. And then melt it down. We'll inhale, lift up. And exhale, float down one more time, lifting up. And then let's take ourselves, stretch your towards that back leg. And then take your two arms back behind you, let the chest open up. And then from here, just rock the pelvis, the sits bone moves forward and back. So 
Getting some release here at the front of the hip. Good. And then we'll exhale, sweep that leg in and switch sides so the two arms come to the side of the body. And then we'll just gently create a little bicycle movement. Good. And then we'll try that the other way. Good, and then let's set that leg back down behind you for just a moment. Good, and then we'll take our hands, um, let the sternum stretch up, down and up just a few times, so that rocking forward and back lets your torso release a little more. Again, thinking about space between the ribs and the hips. We'll exhale, reach towards your back leg. Good, lift the weight of the head now. Be nice and heavy. And then we're going to open your two arms, moving your torso back. Now rock the opposite hip. So I'm going to let this right tailbone come down and up. Good. So it's really just the tailbone moving forward and back, and that will create some release here in your hip. Good, and then from here, we'll exhale and bring the leg right back around. So now, soles of the feet can move together, and then we're just gonna rock the rib cage side to side. Good. And then we're going to take the two arms all the way back up, slide the right leg out, pull the left leg in, and take that as a stretch forward. Inhale, taking the two arms all the way back up. We'll switch the position of the two legs and take a long stretch out over the left leg. And then let's inhale, sweep the two arms up once again, and then let two legs come out. You'll reach arms down the leg, then let the head go. And then we'll inhale, sweep the arms up, and then open the two legs out. Bring your fingertips now in between the two legs. And once again, just a nice light rocking with your rib cage side to side. Good. See if that soft movement can kind of help free up your back where you might have held some tension, especially if we sat frozen doing stressful things at a desk. You can let some of that go. Good. So now we'll exhale and pull one shoulder in. Inhale, moving up. Exhale, put the other shoulder in. Let's see if you can't get a little stretch in the deltoids in the chest. Inhaling up. Exhale, moving over. Inhale, coming over. And exhale, taking that one more time. Inhale, the arms are going to float up, and now reach your ribs side to side. Good, feeling that link. Out, 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 so the sits bones stay anchored as you float over and back. Good, move the hands behind the head for a moment, and let the chest open up. Feel the shoulder blades scoop in. Exhale, rest the hands here on the head, letting the head move forward and roll the toes back and out. Then we'll inhale, stretch the arms up, take a twist towards the right leg. From this twist, the left arm can rise up 
and reach out towards the toes. And we'll inhale, sweep, take it up. Take that hand back behind the head once again, and then let the torso reach away from the leg. So you really feel a shoulder blade tuck onto the spine. And then exhale, two arms up. We'll circle in the wrists. Freedom there. And then take a big twist towards the opposite leg. The left hand now can move behind you. And we'll stretch the right arm out over the left leg. Good. Still get that sense of reaching the toes away from the hips. The legs stay a little active in this stretch. And then we'll inhale, come up. Hand moves behind the head. Reach the body away from the left leg. Inhale, coming all the way up. Good. It's time to bring the soles uh, or bring the heels of the hands together, stretch into your wrists, fingertips moving back towards the body. From here, we'll take opposite hand and elbow, inhale the arms up, and again, just another little slow dance with this one. Good, so we'll inhale, sweep. And the palms can reach behind you, let your chest open. And then we'll exhale, close the two legs and bring yourself onto all fours for a moment. And we'll begin here by just focusing on your low back. So the tailbone's gonna run underneath you round underneath you and then we'll arch and move this so remember especially if something's uncomfortable be really careful with your range of motion start really small and then gradually grow the range of motion good so now i want you to tuck the pelvis underneath you and reach your chin over one shoulder Inhale, come back, tuck the pelvis underneath you, pull the chin towards the opposite shoulder. Inhale, reach it all out. Exhale, find that little rotation in the neck and over. Good, so now let the hips move out to the side, around and back. So you're drawing again a big circle with your tailbone. Good, and let that circle move the other way. Good, inhale, let the two forearms now come to the floor and let the head come to rest and the chest open. We'll inhale now, move the top of the head for a moment into the floor. And then I'm gonna take my left hand to the outside of my right leg. And create a little twist and hopefully open that space in between my spine and my shoulder blade. Pushing down, inhaling, coming up, and then exhale, finding yourself on the other side. So the right arm comes down by the left leg. And again, making a little space in the spine, in between the spine and the shoulder blade. Inhale, press that back up. And then let's slide our right knee up between your two hands. 
and then walk your left toes back and rock the hips just a little bit here. So you can feel the left hip bone reach down towards your right heel. And you can rock and roll here just a few times. Again, trying to kind of loosen that space between the ribs and the hips. Good. And then when you feel like your low back is getting a little more level, then perhaps walk your hands down and let yourself come float over the leg. If you wanted not to feel a little stretch in your quadricep, you could take your opposite hand to foot. So your right hand would reach towards your left foot, that left knee bending. And then we'll exhale, push our hands into the floor. And then wrap that whole body so towards your back leg for just a moment. Sweeping the arms, wrap yourself around the other way. So now left hand to my right knee, right hand to the left foot. Good. Maybe feeling even a stretch in your trapezius could take your right ear towards your right shoulder and try to free up the neck a little bit there. The neck, go ahead and stretch the other way. And then once again, with a big sweep of the arms, we'll come, let yourself now face the opposite direction and play again with the tailbone. Let the tailbone move up, let the tailbone moves back. Good. So sort of freeing up the back once more. And then feel that place where your pelvis feels nice and neutral. And then we'll try a sweeping action, letting the hips and tailbone travel to one side. And then you can try sort of drawing those circles around the other way. Good. Let's let the forearms come down. Let the head come to the mat and stretch, walk your fingertips out and away. Sliding the hands back towards the body, lifting the head up. This time we're gonna slide the left knee so we're in between the two hands and walk the right leg, really reach it back in the hip socket. Good, and then let's do that rocking action with your hips. So the right hip bone now reaches towards the left heel, taking you over and back. Good, and when you feel like the low back is a little bit more released here, then take your two hands out and take a long stretch over the leg. I'm going to bend my right knee, see if my hand and foot, so now my left hand perhaps reaches towards my right foot. Releasing the foot, press into two hands. And lift, lift, lift. Let that back foot come to the floor. Sweep two arms towards the back leg. Good. Play with the position of your head. Letting your neck stretch. And then we'll sweep the arms around. Opposite hand, this is right hand to left foot. And then maybe your left hand finds your, or your left hand finds your right foot back behind you. And 
And then from here, we'll sweep the arms all the way back around, pull the leg in, and then I'll let the other side of me, since my left side now facing the computer screen once again. So I'm gonna walk my knees just slightly back from the hips, let the head and tail come down. And then create a big undulation through the spine as you catch the weight there with those muscles in the front of the body, letting the back be nice and long. Let's try that again. So you'll inhale, reach weight back, breathe and now undulate into this movement. Good, feeling the muscles there in your abdomen, catch your weight. Inhale, break it all back. Good. Exhale, undulate coming forward once again. This time we'll reach the weight back. Let the head come back down. And then this time let the palms come together overhead. Then I'm gonna let my big toes pull together and my knee joints move apart and just rest for a moment in an Adho Mukha Virasana. From here we're here we'll slide the two arms out and then let the hips move forward into the mat let the elbows come slightly out from the shoulders and then just lightly a few times bending straightening your knees good and then pulling your two heels together knees bent rock just side to side Good. And then from here, we'll let the forearms move down. Let the head come rest on the arms. Let the right or the left leg up back behind you. Just feel that neck stretch. Exhale, release. Let it come down. And then the right leg reaches over to the left. And then slowly it rolls right back down. Let's now let the hands press into the floor and let the head float up, let the sternum float up. And feel a stretch there. Exhale, release, let that come down. Palms move together above your back and we'll stretch reach the arms away from you and then up towards the ceiling. And from there we'll exhale, lift the head and chest, letting the spine pull up from the floor. Release, letting that come down. Perhaps you can take two hands now to the right foot, or I'm sorry, I've gone to my left foot. Just stretch in, maybe even massage that foot a little bit as you stretch the kneecap. Good, and we'll exhale, change legs, hand there to the foot, letting the kneecap stretch. And then giving that foot a little rub. Good, let's exhale, let the two legs come long. Now just lift the head up from the floor. Reach the right arm out and we'll roll onto the right side. Good, lifting the left leg. Now let the leg, once again, it's just gonna bicycle there in the hip socket. Good, 
good. And then let's go ahead and bicycle the other way. And then we're going to pause, hug the knee up over towards your chest. And then the leg is stretch. And then perhaps taking a hand to the foot and letting the leg stretch, stretch, stretch on the head. And then we'll fold at this knee, let the knee move forward and let the top arm start to circle and just reach behind you. And then let that continue to stretch. So you take that upper arm bone as high in the hip, in the shoulder socket as you can. And then let the head and neck release. And we'll exhale, fold all of that back in and then reach our bodies over onto the other side. So we'll come down and you can again, just lightly bicycle the leg in the hip socket. And then let it move the other way. using your exhales to really promote the movement. Good, and then let's bend the knee, round it up so it comes over you. Oh, and then perhaps a hand to the foot, letting the knee extend. And then we'll bend in this knee and let the knee come forward, travel forward. And then the top arm can sweep in a few big circles one direction and then the other. And then let's reach that arm all the way away and feel yourself open into a twist. We'll exhale, roll the body back down into the floor. And from here, in your lift your sternum up. And then exhale, lift the hips, pull them underneath you, press the palms into the floor. A little cacao with the spine. And then we'll curl the toes under, lift the hips high and get a big stretch. If you've been using an extra blanket, you can walk yourself over it and then fold it. Taking opposite hand and elbow here in a little forward bend, just let the back hang and sway. And then pushing down with both feet, don't come all the way up. Let's start, let me shift this just a little. So we're gonna start facing the computer and you let your head come down as the knees bend and then inhale, let that all come up. So head comes down, knees bend and again, hopefully finding some release. 
Extend the sides of the neck. Good. Let's now let an arm travel with you. And up. Let the arm travel with you. And up. Sweeping. And lifting. Sweeping. And lifting. Good. One more time. Each side. Good. So now we'll take two arms up and reach your head towards a, your palm. Palm, one palm is going to lift. One palm is going to run under you. And again, we'll still try to stretch your neck and bring out the shoulders. Good. From here, we'll take your two arms up and then begin to just lightly walk. You could put your hands on the head just walk your weight into the feet letting the legs get a little wider it's just a nice light picking up one leg trying to sort of feel yourself stay upright as you go light with the joint good leaving the hand there at the head now just sort of circle with your tailbone so let it lead let it again Create a little stretch and a little release in the low back. And from here, we'll take your two arms up and then move the hands to the thigh, round curling under your spine. And inhale, coming up, round curling under. Inhale, coming up and then round curling under. Inhale, reach your whole body back up once again, and then take opposite hand, let it stretch towards the ankle with the right arm. So this is my right arm to your back onto my back as I really let my head and neck go. Inhale, the arms flow to you up, and exhale, crossing the body once again. This is now my Right arm to the left leg. Just do the side you haven't done. And again, if it feels nice to take your head side to side, shake it. And then we'll inhale, come all the way up. And then this time, just shift your weight all the way into one foot and then into the other. So it feels kind of comfortable here. You can now create little circles. So we'll rise up and lower, kind of feeling your bounds move into one leg and then the other. Good. Taking that the other way. It's like the tailbone drawing a circle there. Good. And then, so let's now fold the weight on just your right leg and let the left leg do a few little circles. And maybe the other way. Set the weight down, picking up the other leg, let it circle. And then the other way. If you haven't done that. Good. And then once again, just letting the weight get light in your feet as your feet move a little bit more apart. And if you want to find is there a little stretch or release in your shoulder, you can add as your weight's moving side to side. Good. And then we'll turn that into a little twist. And the arms kind of fall into the sides of the body here. Try a little stretch for the hip. We're going to take this twist all the way over towards your right leg and then um, kind of roll your weight through the foot and back through the foot to transfer weight to the balls, to the heels, to the balls, to the heels, balls and heels. Good. Now let's set Two heels down, take your two arms up, move the hands behind the head, take a big stretch. Good. 
And then we'll inhale, sweep your two arms over. Find a big stretch over your right leg. Staying active through the balls of the feet and the heels and feeling the kneecaps stay lifted. Let's push down through both feet, bring yourself up and sweeping around to the other side. Same thing, just rocking the weight, balls of the feet then the heels, stepping forward, stepping back. Good, and then we're gonna pause. Let's plant both heels and inhale, sweep the arms up, long stretch. Good, the hands can move behind the head. We'll let the head go. And then exhale, stretch, reach out over the left. Push into your two feet to bring yourself up. We'll sweep right back into the center. But then this time, turn the toes out and let the knees move wide too as they bend. We take weight to side to side. Good. And then once again, you can take that little practice of kind of drawing a circle with your tailbone. And letting that circle the other way. So it's like an oval. Yeah. Letting the legs open up. And side to side. And then a little more of a horizontal circle there. With your tailbone getting a big stretch. Good. And then we'll sweep the arms out. And stretch over one leg. And up. Stretching over the opposite leg and up over one leg and up over the leg and up. Good. This time we're going to go all the way around. And exhale, find yourself nice and tall. And then traveling back the way you came all the way around. Okay, let's do that one more time, each direction, all the way around. And up, and all the way around. And up, good. Inhale, softening your knees down and up just a few times. Then we'll exhale and step the two legs all the way back together. Start by first crossing. So I'm going to take my right leg in front of my left and then pull the sitting bone down. Take my arms together back behind me. Take a stretch over the two legs. Pushing into the feet, bringing yourself back up. Now the two hands back behind you. Good. Let the head float up for a moment. Good. And then let's go ahead, take your right hand to your low back. And see about the hands kind of reaching towards each other. Good, and then we'll exhale, release the arms, and change the position of the two legs. So you'll let the left foot now cross in front of the right, and the tailbone will move down, and the sits bones will anchor. Good, take a second, just roll in your shoulders. Good, and then we'll bring the palms together behind the back, open the chest and slowly float down 
Really giving your weight to your two feet. Or falling over. And then from there, just bringing yourself all the way back up. And we'll move the hands behind the head. Let the head and neck stretch up. And then we'll let the left hand come to the low back and perhaps let the hands walk together back behind you as we squeeze the legs in and spread the toes out. And then let's just exhale and unfold and roll all of that out. So again, just a little slow motion, light movement through your feet. Picking up your left leg, letting it shake in front, shake to the side, back behind you, stepping it in, opposite leg, lifts, shakes all the way down. All right, so now try this with me. We're going to take our arms, a big sweep, move out and then bring your fingertips down and melt your head over. And then from here, I'm gonna take my right leg to my left and let my pelvis lower all the way. So I'm back in a seated position. Take your two arms up, forward, and then sweep in between the legs. Let your head go. Just like you're a little turtle. Feel the head and neck just loosen through. And we'll inhale to your arms, move up, take your opposite elbow. I'm going to get a little wrist stretch in here as well by tucking my top hand here underneath my arm. Good. Coming back up, spread, reach your fingers out, and then just wrap the hands around so they come toward the ankles, and then let yourself melt forward once again. And then from here, I'll inhale, sit all the way up, and then just let my weight fall over my body as I come down so the weight of the legs moves up. And then I'm going to lightly rock my back side to side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. With your two legs now, let them sweep in little circles with your knees bent. Good, and then they can travel in the opposite direction. Good, let's lightly press and let your feet just hop up from the floor. So they'll land toe, ball, heel, then spring right back up. Good, and then the feet can land here in the floor. We'll bring our arms to the sides and let the pelvis float up. Walk your shoulder blades together, bring your palms together here. And get a big stretch. Let's lower the pelvis down, take the two knees over the chest, 
And now just slide your hands down the right leg. Get a little stretchier. And to bend in the knee. Two hands over the left leg, a stretch. And then again, a bend in the knee. This time we'll take your two hands to the inners of the legs and let that tailbone roll up. Getting another little stretch here. And then from here, let's let the soles of the feet move together. And let the pelvis stretch so the heels press in, the knees move out. And you can pull a little bit onto the top of your head if you like, getting a stretch in your throat. And we'll exhale, release, let that come down. Sliding the two legs now together. I'm going to cross my right leg over the left. And now let the knees move over to the right. I'm sorry, move over to the left and take your gaze to the right. Inhale, the legs coming back up. You can uncross here, let the left leg come over the right, and now the two legs move to the right, your gaze to the left. Inhale, bringing your two legs back up. Take the right knee to the, or the right ankle to the left thigh and then let the hips move in. Get a little stretch. And then changing the position of the two legs. Left ankle, right thigh, feeling a deep stretch through the hips. And then we'll unfold the legs and let them come nice and long on your mat. Letting the heels fall in, the toes fall out. Move your hands for a moment onto the belly. And take a few deep, low breaths. Now the hands can move to the sides of the rib cage. Take a few wide breaths. Now, if you breath the hands at your 
heart and lungs. And feel some full breaths down low, down wide, and then up into the chest and heart. If it's helpful to hold and inhale for a moment and then exhale, let it go. Now just let the hands rest at your sides and just take a few breaths. Let your body steady. And when you feel ready, you can lightly begin to just wiggle your fingers and your toes. And circle the ankles, circle the wrists. And then we'll stretch our arms up, our legs long, and then hug the two legs in over your chest. Rock the back side to side, front to back. We'll roll to the right side and then press up. Find ourselves in a seated position. Bringing the palms together before the heart, bowing the head, closing the eyes. Your practice is a gift to everyone. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Namaste.